well well welcome back in the kitchen guys it's amazing to be in the kitchen with chef ricotta cooking show um basically i just make a simple recipe stir fry pork with some spinach and serve with some pasta with some veg inside of it it's an amazing recipe but you can do the same thing at home and hopefully you like the recipe and subscribe to the channel and please leave your comments thank you so much for watching my cooking show and all you guys who leave in the comments and those wonder wonderful ideas Chef Ricard, if you want me to make something for you, you can always request it. And also, remember, you can donate and get my book on Amazon 50% off. Thank you so much, and see you next time. Bye bye. Guys, I love it. Welcome back in the kitchen with Chef Ricard cooking show. We're gonna basically show you how you can do some stir fry pork and serve it with some pasta. So, basically, right here, I'll just buy a pack of stir fry pork. You can get that in the local shop to buy, or if you go to the local butcher. Tell them you want your meat to cut like this. Very nice and easy. Or you can buy some steak pork and cut them like this at home. It's not a lot of pork, but um, roughly about four pieces and you know what I mean into slices like this. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna show you how to cook this and how to marinate it up and cook it instantly at home. Enjoy the recipe, and this is from Chef Ricardo on the team. So basically, the first thing we're gonna need to do is pop a little bit of oil, not too much, roughly a teaspoon of oil, a little bit of pepper, and also a teaspoon of all proper seasoning. And also a teaspoon of paprika. Nice one. This one is um, ginger, garlic, season. That's a pinch of that one. Because ginger is really good when I'm making stir fry pork. Nice one. So you can use this a big spoon like mine which i'm going to be using here and just simple give it a little stir like this as you can see this one um basically what i want to simply say to you this part of the pot doesn't take long to cook because it's a steak part very easy so basically what we're going to do I'm going to be popping some seasoning inside of it. This is some spring onion, which I'm going to be cutting up right here. Two cloves of garlic for flavor. some white onion this is just half of a white onion right here guys really nice simple we got some green pepper which we're gonna also cut up but in the meantime what you could do just give this a stir You can see how that's look really lovely and nice so this can go and soak in the meantime in the meantime we're gonna just simply cut up the whole of this season and this is some red pepper one yellow pepper so really nice and beautiful this is some carrot this is some 
carrot which we're gonna be in. Add it to it. Nice one. So this is the season which we're gonna use inside of the stir fry pork. So you can always put this at the side. And we're not gonna use any more this kind of season. So in the meantime, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna turn on my stove on the pot. Because this is already seasoned up. The pork is seasoned up now. It's not a lot as I said before, just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is season. Then I turn on my stove. Nice and lovely. So right here, this is my stove fried pan pan. Right here. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop a pinch of olive oil instead of it. Nice one. So after you put that olive oil, become a front pan about three seconds now since it's been on. You can take in the seeds, put in this meat. Because it doesn't want it too hot, that means when you put it in, it's bring a lot of smoke. So you're gonna, what you're gonna do now is simple. Stir fry up the pork, that's the first thing you wanna do. So we're gonna keep stirring this around for about seven minutes. Nice and lovely. So as you can see, how it look lovely and nice. Yeah, really nice. So just cover it, make it sweat for five minutes. And lovely, so as you can see, look really lovely and nice. So, basically, we want to put the season inside of it. Nice one. A little bit of sweet chili sauce. A little bit of water. Because you want me to cook really soft. Cover that and load that for five more minutes. It's cooking down and it looks lovely. Basically, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just put a little bit of honey. Um, if you got soya sauce, I can use it, but I didn't have any. I'm just gonna put a pinch of brown in just for color. And this can serve with rice, pasta, whatever you like to serve it with. And also we're going to put a little bit more, just a pinch more all-purpose season for flavor. And then... One handful of spinach inside of it. And if you have pop chow, pop chow you can use in it. But well, I'm just using some spinach. Really nice. So when you want to know if your meat cook, look at this. Simple. Just tear it apart like this. And then you know that your meat is cooked. Mm. Really nice. So 
so we have a lot more recipe like this coming out for you guys so put a little bit more sweet chili sauce not too much nice one leave that for about four more minutes nice and lovely guys look at that really nice and beautiful as i can see stir fry pork with spinach serve with some pasta it's just a different kind of style and a different kind of menu so as i can see the way it looking lovely and nice i just share it out and as i can see this is some chef ricotta on the team we've got a lot more ideas and recipe coming out for you enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the channel see you next time bye bye nice and lovely so look at that now it was just your see my down for another five minutes so it is finished now basically what we're gonna do is shear it out but look at that beautiful and nice so we want to see how it look with the pasta as you can see stir fry pork with some spinach serve with pasta enjoy the recipe